Yeah, Lasagna don't want to be oh, in here. Oh, man. You're alive. I know. That's fine. <laughs> wait, wait, it's our, it's our blooper. Ah, shit. <laughs> he just hit it. <laughs> yeah. Because Lasandra don't want to be in. We had a chair up for Lasandra. Yeah. Then why are you here? Then why are you here? Why did you see? I got work. You, you, guys, I got work. you, you know, it would have been, it, man, it would have been cool. It would have been all cast of brown people. <laughs> you ruined oh, it. Oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> we got Koreans. We got Koreans. We got Puerto Rican. And you. Korean, Puerto Rican. <laughs> Korean, Korean, Puerto Rican. You can say, or you can say, like you from an island, Chino, Chino. Chino, Chino. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Chairs Comics and Commentary. Of course, we're still missing the couch, which has a better flow. So yeah. we're at the Dragons there. Uh, we're going to tell you a, a review about this week's comics and well, this week and a few weeks ago, whatever. But we're going to talk about comics itself. Uh, we're back. We said this last time, yeah. but we're actually doing a video. And we're actually back back. <laughs> and hopefully Ryder will edit it in time to get out. So I did it back. last time. We're back back. So. All right. So uh, I just want to make a quick introduction. I'm B-Man Bernie here at the Dragons there in Fayetteville, North Carolina. We have Mike. Mike. And we and have Angel. So Angel's new to the crew. He's been actually hanging out for about a year or two now. Now he feels comfortable to get in yeah. here. And we, we might talk him into coming in because we're, we're missing our yeah. people. We're missing some people. It's, you know, it always goes he down. He reads. So. Yes, he reads. He reads more than we do. And uh, that's a big thing. So, but, we, we, but when you are pretty much high in the military and you're about to retire, you can do all you want. You right? can do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> Not wrong about that. You get the, a, a little bit of free time. All right. Well, do we, you want to start or we want the. I start. I start this. I'm going to forget. I picked up a uh, Flash Jake Eric story. Uh, it's called Day Garrett Flash? Yeah, Day Garrett Flash. That's exactly what it's called, Day Garrett Flash. <laughs> so, uh, issue three dropped this week, and I picked up number one, number two. And it's a pretty good story, right? Uh, just to sum it down, Mr. Dr. Elemental, I guess he controls all the elements, and uh, the Justice Society uh, is trying to pretty much like trap him and find out who he is and they couldn't so Flash forgot that he had a daughter and she came through the speed force helped them uh, beat Dr. Uh, Elemental and then everybody's like who is this girl yeah so it's uh Dr. Elemental did something throughout time that erased the memory of Jay Garrick's daughter oh, okay. and then Jay Garrick's daughter it's like she got blipped Right, she disappeared 50 years ago and she shows up being a teenager. But Jake Eric and his wife aged. Yeah. So it's pretty good. Like I, I I really like this. I really like this story. I like what they're doing with it. Um I love Speedster. Everybody knows that that's the only DC book that I actually like. Uh so it was it was it was kinda cool. I didn't like that it feel too much like she got blipped. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it's 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 kind of cool that they did that because now you can because when she got blipped, it was just her and her dad. They yeah. were the only speedsters around. Yeah, I can't remember if she was around when Jay Garrick was introduced in the yep. Golden Age or not. But um, and so now she's back, and so now not only is it her dad and her, you got the whole flash. Oh yeah, yeah. She she looked at the in one one of the panels. She looks at a picture that Jay Garrick has with all the flashes. She's like, uh. <laughs> What's this? Yeah. <laughs> Who are these people? Yeah. And he's like, oh, that's that's like our family. Yeah. So, so she's feeling the 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 impact of being gone. But it's a pretty it's a it's a pretty good story. Yeah, she, you explain that. I'm actually kind of sure that now. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he like, started. He came cool. with the assist. It was, it was like <laughs> basketball. It's cool. He passed and, it. The, you know. yeah. Maybe the most entertaining fast break in basketball when D Wade and LeBron are on the fast break. Uh, for Marvel, I picked the. Um, um, I know everybody gonna say I'm biased. I picked up uh, Spider Gwen Smash, <laughs> and uh, I had no hopes at all. I was like, this book, is, it's gonna suck. But I read it, and I was very surprised. It's uh, it's pretty good. The story starts to line up nicely with you know what we already got. Uh, Spider Gwen pretty much playing on her band. It's out of control because her spider sense is all over the place. <clears throat> Here comes Taylor Swift, um, asks the band to play on tour, ends up happening that they want Spider-Gwen to protect Dazzler, pretty much. Um, somebody's chasing Dazzler, 
I don't know who it is. That's why I need my X Men people to uh, assist me. Um, and then uh, I really thought you were some Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> that's what. That's what. That's what. That's what. And then uh, what's her name? Natasha. <laughs> Black Widow. And then Black Widow attended as uh, one of the security for that as well. So that's why I was saying, I people that read the Rangers and X Men, I need your right. input on it because they, it was pretty good. It's the the art flew pretty nice. It's some of the best art I've seen on Spider Gwen books. Um, but everything looked good. <laughs> it is. So, no, no, you're right. You're right. It must, you're right. Be, it must be cartoony. Wrong. It must be cartoony. It's not as cartoony as I as I as it was before. As you like. And then I read, I read something else, but I can't remember now. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! That's why I don't remember X Men. Oh, the, <laughs> the original X Men. <laughs> the original X Men. One shot. I'm glad that I didn't remember. So <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there. No, X Men. Uh, I don't know. It never hooked. Like I, I read the whole book. I never got anything saying, "Hey, man, this." Mm. There was no excitement for me. Right? I'm not. I'm not an X Men guy. But there was the, the whole book was just like, mm. okay. Yeah, it's a big setup. It's just maybe they're working towards something else. Yeah, they did. So from there, it sets up a uh, Weapon X Men. Yeah. So we'll see if that pays off. Today. I like. I like how it like the only part that I like is in the book when the it's like a multiverse X Men, right? It's like into the X Men verse. So you know, Phoenix and the original X Men jump to the universe and find themselves, and when they find. Uh, the, the teenager X-Men yeah. where well, they're living like superstars like TikTokers <laughs> they're like yeah bro what are you doing like, I'm trying to chill in the pool <laughs> like, yeah. like, that's the only part I like of the whole book they're like bro what, what are you trying to find me man so I'm gonna go find the angel there, angel. so yeah so I'm gonna talk about Gods oh, yeah. and uh, Green Lantern War Journal so Jonathan Hitman uh, is, is doing Gods issue 3 drop this week and then we get a reintroduction of a character that I think we haven't seen since uh, 2005 Oblivion so oh, he, wow yeah Oblivion's back uh, and Hickman does Hickman things and uh, uh, tells a really good story and essentially really lays out who Oblivion is for people uh, and and, <laughs> and, it's, and it's, it's, it so right. it's really it's really living up to the hype of rewriting and reestablishing the cosmic hierarchy Gotcha, over there. Gotcha. Uh, but if you don't like uh, a lot of exposition, unfortunately, God's is not going to be up your alley. <laughs> but, but see, that's all I mean. yeah. That's all I mean. That's nothing new. Yeah. That's it. That, and that's why I couldn't read it because I went, I'm like, oh. Yeah, but it's but it's so far Aww, so good. I know, but you know, it, <laughs> I read comics to read comics, you know, pictures. Yeah. Essentially, what they said was there are lesser gods and then there are the greater gods. And the greater gods are death, eternity, oblivion. They're all siblings. I can't remember the fourth one. But the lesser gods being like the Asgardians, the in-betweener, those guys. Uh, and Sounds like you're setting up the Endless. Yeah. <laughs> almost <laughs> very <laughs> similar to that, right? Uh, and and uh, saying Oblivion is just, uh, like I said, he hasn't been around. Uh, and the way he's introduced in this book and the way he uh, interacts with one of the uh, characters introduced in issue one, it's awesome. It's, it's really good. Um, and looking forward to the, some of the designs on that. And then the other one is Green Lantern War Journal. That's was, all the one you read? Yeah, that one's that one's good. So I got to meet Philip uh, Kennedy Johnson. He came to the area to do a signing, got to meet him. And he's currently writing Incredible Hulk. So that's another plug for another book that's really good. Ooh, cool. And he talked about Green Lantern War Journal. And at first I was like, ah, I'm not gonna kind of do it. John Stewart is he's one the, of my he, favorite he, Green Lanterns. He's in the military, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And, uh, and so he was talking about this book, he showed me a couple panels, preview panels, and I was super excited. So I was like, hey, I'll, I'll give it a read. And, and so far, so good. I didn't read the last Green Lantern, John Stewart story, but this one picks up. He's essentially left the core, um, left the Green Lantern core, is back home with his mom and trying to reestablish life and, and do that because his mom is suffering from an illness and he doesn't want to leave her side. And he gets uh, uh, steel. Um, is, is in this book and uh, and the Revenant Queen is the big bad which is pretty good so far and, and issue four uh, see, yeah issue four that just dropped this week kind of pushes the story and really introduces newer readers to Jon Stewart Green Lantern to how he thinks and why 
in the eyes of many, he is uh, the best Green Lantern, me included. He's the best Green Lantern uh, because of what of of what he embodies. Because everybody knows Green Lantern is all about indomitable will and stuff like that. And 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 John Stewart has always at least been depicted that way. So those are the two titles that I read. I read a couple other ones. You didn't read Spider Boy? That's the one I was. Reading. So Spider Boy, I did read, and it was awesome. It was fun. Uh, Spider Boy is really fun. Uh, a good throwback. And this one, the Taskmaster shows up, mm -hmm. uh, and Captain America and uh, Paco Medina is killing it on the art. Um, but it's 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 good. He had one complaint. What's the, that? The Humberto Ramos arm. Well, the, on the, the cover, on the cover, on the Captain America, you know, Humberto Ramos is like my 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 go-to artist. Is the number one Spider-Man artist. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> number one. Number one. Number one. He's okay, you're done. He, can, he can be one B. He can, he can be like one C because then you know. You got I mean, you got you got Dick Code, you got Ramita. Uh, but I, I, Roberto Ramos is up there on, on my favorite spot. Definitely better than Pirates. I, I say better, better than the up, where? Up, up on the Mount Rushmore. There's only where? there's only five spaces on Mount Rushmore. Uh -huh. Five or four. Four. Mm -hmm. So there's four Ramita. More. Ramita. Jericho. There's Bagley, McFarlane, Ramos McFarlane. and McFarlane. There is there is Bagley. Uh, Bagley. <laughs> Bagley, and then really far to the right, McFarlane. <laughs> what do you read? Me. Oh, I, I, I went the indie route. I didn't read shit. <laughs> I didn't do fucking shit. <laughs> James Tynion, Deviant. That is actually a pretty yeah, wicked I'm, book. I'm it, 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 yeah. it's, it's, it's good and it's kind of weird. It's, <laughs> it, it's about a, a, a comic writer who's doing an interview with a serial killer who's supposedly dressed up as Santa and basically killed boys. So, so it's... I can't, you know, it's one of those books like something that you can't really tell the ending, but yeah. it's really good. Uh, it, it got me, you know, wow. And so I had to pick up the next issue. I, 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 I had number one, didn't read it, but I got number two and started reading it. And as you go into number two, you're like, man, this, it's actually, he, he wants to write the story mainly about himself now because he was in the city where, where it happened. And then it brought, he was able to come to terms with, okay. with, uh, his sexuality. Okay. And so, uh, I mean, I can't really give a lot because they, they didn't give you a lot. They gave you enough to like hook you, to hook you, but couldn't go anywhere. But that Deviant by James Tynion, great book. Uh, I believe it's Image Comics. Yeah. Image, yeah. Believe, it's it's yeah. pretty cool, and, and it was really hot because number one sold out. Number one sold yeah. out like hotcakes. Won the second print the first week, and uh, I was lucky enough to walk back thinking, "What's this?" and pick it up. And go, oh, I remember this. And I took it. So great book, Deviant. One to check out because. Once you read it, it hooks you. The second book I read, uh, Batman Silent Night. I haven't read Batman in now. I haven't read Batman now for over a year. I haven't read Batman because, as I've told these guys, I just got tired of the character Batman. After all these years, I got tired of him just because I was tired of him. So uh, I told Angel and Mike, you know, I'm just, I was tired of Batman. And um, it was, like I said, during the time, right when Chip Zarsky was taking yeah. over. And so... From what I've heard, I've missed out on some oh, yeah. really great Z stories. Zagarski's run has been really good. So now i got to go back and read those. I read uh, The Batman Silent Night, and it was kind of cool to read Batman again. But what made it really cool was, of course, Zatanna shows up with her fishnet stockings, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, so it was actually cool. Uh, the big, biggest thing was Santa. Santa Claus shows up. Oh, that's the one. I've seen that. And good. it's funny because the character Zatanna shows and, and he, he like says her name, says her address. And she's all like, "Yeah, it's, 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 it's yeah. Santa, you know." Yeah, Santa, yeah. And then uh, Robin's there, and, and D Damien is like, and he's like, "Oh," and he says, "I didn't believe," and he's like, "Ah, uh, he's there." And then it comes to find out that Batman has known Nick or yeah, or Chris, yeah, Chris. I think it's Chris and Nick or either yeah, way. So he calls him. He calls him, and it's pretty cool. Uh, so it has to go. It kind of goes back. It's to not our Nick. <laughs> really good book. The artwork's really good. Love the covers by uh, Derek Chu. He's done yep. some great. It's Derek Chu, right? Yeah, I believe yeah, Derek did, did, did some of the very covers. Yeah. I mean, those are the ones I got. But they're pretty awesome book. But it's definitely one. I think it's um, they were trying to time it, of course, before Christmas. Yep. It's a, it's a fun read. I mean, and, uh, uh, both DC and Marvel. Was it three supposed, issues or four issues? It's supposed to be four. Four. Yes, yes. and that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I read, I read, I started reading three. Got up to three, but four. There's four. And well, it's got before Christmas. Yeah. So, you know. But it's actually a really good book. Check that out. I know we have some still here in store. 
Uh, but I mean, that's it, guys. I mean, yeah. Anything else that we can throw in Not, there? If you're if you're new getting into comics, the time is now to get Spider. If you got a young reader that wants to get into comics, pick up. I'd rec highly recommend Spider Boy. Spider it's a really it's good. Fun. It's a, it's about as PG thirteen as you can get in comics. Mm -hmm. uh, there's that's even cool. there's even a cool backstory where uh, Spider Boy is teaming up with Squirrel Girl and. Santa. That's a hundred percent for kids. Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's, good. A, it's a great, it's a great. That's good, story. especially because I recommend it to a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, it's, it's yeah. definitely. If you have a, a young reader, Spider Boy is definitely a title to pick up. Cool, cool. Well, I guess that's it for the, today's episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. We've got Angel, we got Mike, we got B Man. Thank you guys. Hope you guys have a merry Christmas. I hope this comes out before Christmas. So, uh, Christmas. <laughs> or at least at, a little bit after Christmas. I hope you guys it. had a good one. But if anything, have a great New Year's. And as we always say here at the Dragons there, uh, it's all about the comic community. Take care. Bye-bye.